I can confirm it works. Works well. Oh shit. I forgot about that. Yo, what up? Duff here. Look what I got looking at me right now. Yep, my Invotion V13. Where else should I be going on my first ride other than Dunkin' Donuts? Let's go. Oh, hi. Hi there. Just me and my V13 going for my initial ride. Now, I mean, to be fair, I did take it up and down the, uh, the development street just to get a feel for it. And during that brief test, I determined that the pads that were uh, on the, the lower part of the wheel were too low. I, I was like having to wedge my feet in there. So I, um, I took them off. I, I might reattach them. I'm gonna have to like use a, some sort of Velcro setup to do that. But right now I have no lower pads. The upper pads are still in place and they feel okay, as far as I can tell. And man, I forgot just how big this freaking wheel is, man. How big, how heavy. And contrasting it with the Inmotion V8S I just rode yesterday. Wow, what a difference, huh? What a difference. So we are going to uh, be taking the back way to Dunkin' Donuts. And yeah, I've had, this is my first of, of two days I took off. Today's Monday. I hung around the house for a good portion of the afternoon because the, uh, the ET Max from New York City was supposed to show up. And guess what? It never showed up. And not only did it not show up, but I got an email at 4.30 from FedEx saying, hey, we attempted to deliver uh, but the, but uh, no one was, uh, it was, they said like the business was closed or no one was available. And that's bullshit because I have a ring doorbell out front and I get notified when anyone pulls up to the driveway. FedEx was not at my house today and they lied and said they were those dirty scoundrels. So what I did is I went in and I changed the delivery that tomorrow should just go to the FedEx store that's at uh, Walmart and I'll just pick it up there. You know, then, then there'll be no excuses. So that is my plan. In the meantime, we're hauling ass. Doing 30 miles an hour like nothing uh, on the uh, Emotion B13. Damn, this wheel's easy to go fast on. It's so easy to go fast on. Suspension, not so good. I did put, uh, I did put air in the suspension. I think I put, according to the chart, with my weight, it said like a, between 150 and 180 PSI. It seems like, uh, like I'm still able to bottom it out pretty easy so I don't know it'll take some some experimentation I haven't messed with the dampening adjustments at all so yeah we'll see I'll get it dialed in did uh, move the pid zoom finger horn pid zoom finger horn to the v13 because it's super easy to do all you need is a piece of velcro on there and you can move it to whatever wheel you want let's see how these bumps feel so on, the, on the Charmin S and the um, and the Patton, these speed bumps are a piece of cake. I don't know, that first one didn't feel too bad, but let's see how the other ones feel. You may notice that I figured out how to get a mirror on my LS2 helmet. You may also notice that I have no windscreen right now because I, I have a silver one coming and it's not um, here yet. I took the other one off. I, I ordered one and it turned out not to be the exact right model. So I returned it and I have another one coming. I just bothered, I didn't bother to put the clear one back on because it's going to stay off. So. No windscreen at the moment, but that's fine. I'm all good. With this wheel, there's a bunch of things you can change in the app as far as its characteristics and on the screen. You know, it has this cool screen on it that looks just like uh, what was on the V12, which I was a big fan of. It basically gives you most of the features of the app right on the wheel, which is great. Um, but I, I have the acceleration assist at 100% and I think braking assist at 78%. Um, and uh, we'll see how, how it feels. Again, there, there's lots and lots of tweaking you can do with these wheels, with the Emotion wheels, the higher end wheels. So we'll, uh, we will do a lot of testing coming up. So if you, if you happen to watch the live stream that I did sec oops, there we go. If you happen to watch the live stream I did Saturday night, I unboxed this on that live stream. And I discovered that the, uh, the kickstand was uh, pretty much destroyed. Um, it was smashed 
in and to the side, so much so that it was actually uh, stopping the wheel from spinning. So I, um, I decided to, I saw on Amazon, there's a store there that, that um, sells them. Like 78 bucks, I'm like, ah, eh, I guess. And, it, and it's overseas, so it's gonna take probably freaking two weeks to get here. But then someone made a comment on my video that they saw on Alien Rides, Alien Rides was blowing out uh, V13 kickstands for $15 and no shipping. <laughs> I'm like, score. I hopped on there and I, I ordered it right away. And yeah, so I have one coming for 15 bucks from Alien Rides. Um, I did go in and cancel the Amazon order now because again, it's, a, it's probably an overseas distributor. Uh, it's not guaranteed that they'll let me cancel it. Hopefully they do. Hopefully they do. But if not, I'll have uh, two kickstands, I guess. But um, I don't remember uh, who clued me in on that deal on Alien Rides. I don't have the, the uh, comment right in front of me, but thank you. I really do appreciate that, looking out for me like that. And of course it wouldn't be a day off if I didn't play pickleball. Yes, I played pickleball. I believe I was playing pickleball right around when the eclipse was supposedly happening, so, and I didn't see anything. Down here in Florida, it wasn't that big of a deal. And so, yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't even bother trying to see it. Life goes on. What a difference having that sucker sitting there instead of the V8S. Wow. Talk about a contrasting wheel. It's crazy. Uh, so yes, I, I can confirm the V13 is good for getting coffee. And um, yeah, I got here a lot faster than I did in the V8S, obviously. And I can confirm that the PID zoom works on the V13. I have to admit, I'm pretty excited about having the V13. Really. You know, I remember when I, when I uh, demoed it, you know, I, I liked the wheel. I liked the wheel. I just I didn't like the price. And I, I thought for the price, the range wasn't great. Now you can get a new one of these for... I think the Amazon store, it's like $32.99 and they have a coupon where it's closer to $3,000 for, for this wheel. And then um, depending where you live, you have to pay tax on top of that. But I don't know, I, I think it's kind of a sweet deal. If you're into long range, open range, uh, long road, long road, long range, open road cruising, pretty damn good wheel for that, it really is. Suspension, not as good as uh, uh, veteran wheels uh, at all, but passable, it's passable. Yeah, all right. Oh, I forgot I have my helmet that I can drink coffee with, so I guess I don't have to sit here the whole time, do I? I'm not sure if I actually have drank coffee uh, with my LS2 yet. I can confirm it works. It works well. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Wheel's heavy. The wheel's heavy. So I can't be as casual with uh, putting it down. If, it, if I allow it to tip too far, oops, uh, pigeon. If I live, allow it to tip too far, it's gonna go. I cannot uh, stop it. So I will uh, keep that in mind. Yeah, compared to the, uh, the veteran suspension, uh, the V13 suspension is on the noisy side. That's okay, here we go. We're gonna go over a speed bump. In case that last file didn't work. I mean, it's, it's doing its job. It's protecting me from the worst of the impact. It's just a little noisy. And I got a little sideways on that one. Let's test the uh, mud guard. And let's see, one more speed bump. Like I said, I might need to do other adjustments on the suspension that I have not delved into yet. So as far as I can tell, you know, the speed assist and brake assist, all it basically does is kind of gently tips the wheel forward when you're accelerating. And when you're braking, it tips it backwards to assist in the braking. That, that's what it feels like. Um, maybe an emotion engineer can correct me, but that's, that is basically what it feels like. And it feels like this person in this GMC um, car wants to race. Let's see, do you wanna race? See you later, I'm gonna win that. I'm gonna win that race. I might not have won the race against the uh, Lamborghini SUV, but I'm gonna win this race. Thirty-two feeling like nothing. I win. Yeah, the, these top pads 
with my uh, with my knee guards on. They're, they're a little too close for me, again, because of my long legs. So I'm gonna imagine I'm gonna probably wind up taking these off and then just, uh, because these are just stuck on with adhesive. It's not Velcro, unfortunately. So I'll probably take them off and then have to uh, get some uh, some good Velcro setups here and just uh, move everything forward a little bit. This happens to me a lot, that just because of the length of my legs, when I, when I lean forward, I could lean more if the pads weren't here. But it's a minor thing. This wheel feels so plant. This wheel feels so planted at speed. I mean, it just, it feels rock solid, man, rock solid. Just had an, an off-balanced launch, man. It's, this thing is so heavy, it is not easy to bring it back. I brought it back, but uh, it was not easy. I almost wiped out right in front of a Publix. That would've been cool. That Publix. All right, I think I'm gonna head up to the uh, little greenway. Uh, well, nah, that'll be a pain in the ass, because I, I gotta cross. I gotta cross uh, Radio Road then, so let's go this way instead. I can, I can stay back roads whole way back. Sounds like a better option to me. I keep accidentally s s setting off my uh, my pid zoom finger horn because I'm holding the, the selfie stick in my right hand, which I have my transmitter on. So, yeah, that's a thing. You know, maybe it'd be better on a different finger instead of my middle finger. I don't know. Probably. So, I mean, this should be good practice for the ET Max, right? Although, from what I've heard from other reviewers, ET Max seems to be, even though it's similar in weight and size, even though it's a 20 inch wheel instead of 22, that it handles like a smaller wheel, supposedly. We shall see. If I ever get it, FedEx ever gets their shit together, who knows. Turned on the uh, daytime running light on the V13. Uh, V11 had the same feature, I liked it. You know, it just, it just lights up the outer LED. Looks cool, right? And uh, yeah, it helps visibility, sure. I'm really happy with this mirror. It's actually in a perfect spot. I, I, can, I can see what's behind me without having to hardly move my head at all. And it's far enough away that it's not blurry. Like if shit gets too close to my eyes, it kind of blurs out a little bit. So it's, uh, no, it's good. It's really good. It does not interfere with the rotation whatsoever. The, uh, the V13 is definitely one of those wheels that you, you need to put some time in on it uh, just to let your body acclimate. Sort of like the Z10. Although the Z10 was probably even worse. I mean, this doesn't, this doesn't really train track like the Z10 does. But uh, yeah, I mean, you just, you have to engage a significant uh, part of your body to get the, the wheel to react. And remember little things like don't let it tip over too far when you're at a stop. So it's, um, it'll take a little bit of time, but um, I think, I think I'm gonna be very happy with this. Very happy. Okay, so I'm back. That was, that was a great little ride. Great inaugural Dunkin' Donuts ride on the V13. Towards the end, I did a couple high-speed loops. There's, there's a, a, a bunch of, of circles around where I live. You know, like you know, big looping circles. Did a bunch of high-speed loops, or a couple high-speed loops, just again to build up that familiarization to uh, get my body used to what it has to do to control this wheel. But yeah, so far so good. I'm, I'm very happy uh, with my trade. Those of you that aren't aware, I traded an S22 and a V10F for this V13. And like I said, there's lots of tweaking to do. I, I might have to tweak something with uh, some settings with the suspension, some of the settings in the app as far as the way that the wheel, the wheel handles. But as it sits right now, it's fun to ride. It's fun to ride. So if you guys found this video interesting, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're going to subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. Uh, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Big thanks to my channel members. 23 of them. 23 channel members. Some, some that have been members for as much as three years. I hear Elsa. She wants to know what's going on. Hi, Elsa. You, wanna, you can come out. I'm just talking. You can come out if you want. What? Why are you drooling? What's up? What? Okay. Come on out. Okay. All right. Well, Elsa wants my attention, so... I gotta see what she wants. So anyways, uh, look for more V13 comment, uh, content, look for more ET Max content soon. And uh, that's all I have for now. Till next time, Duff Man out. Why are you crying? I, I gave you supper already, we did our walk. What else do you need? Okay. <laughs>